We just we always want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Rising food prices aren't just affecting us at the grocery store. Restaurants have also been forced to raise prices. But as Fox 26 reporter Sophia Alessios spoke with one owner in Reedley, one restaurant owner in Reedley who said he told you he'd rather shut down than raise the prices on his menu. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, that's right, Liz. The chef and the owner of Tama Tamami Bistro tells me that he was adamant about not um, raising his prices and would rather sack not sacrifice the quality of his food and affordability. That's why he'd rather make the tough call than have his customers pay the price. Mom and pop stores, all of these stores here and any other downtown, you know, in our small towns around, that's the backbone, I feel, of the community. Eric Shook, the owner and chef of Tamani Bistro, prides himself in the fact that his downtown Reedley restaurant only serves fresh and local produce. That type of a food is, is a little bit costly to, to purchase, but you know, we felt like we don't want to we don't want to sacrifice the quality of, uh, you know, what we are what we are making. So that was the way how whole, how this whole thing started is to cook some good food for good people and keep the prices low. His menu is unique. He's worked in five different countries as a chef and has combined those experiences to provide a multicultural experience through food. My whole menu is a is a journey through my life. So I was born in Finland, so I have a Scandinavian crepe station. I have make different crepes with fresh local berries. And, and then we do stuff from all my journeys throughout the world, and the menu is like a, 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 a product of that. Saturday, he announced he's closing his restaurant in December. Prices on the items on the menu range from 9 to $14, and he's kept them this way even as he's paying more for his ingredients. We didn't want to just keep on putting up prices as the economy was doing all its craziness and things like that. So we want to keep it so that it's affordable for people to come and, and, uh, and enjoy our, our little bistro. Eric and his family faced an uphill battle, opening in early 2021 during the pandemic. Loyal customers helped him survive until now. All we can say is that you know, we, we are thankful, very thankful for, for all of that. So. Um, for my customers, thank you. Sincere thank you. Eric really wanted to emphasize the importance of supporting local businesses. He's asking people to support local if they do have the money to do so. Your heart just breaks because again, you see he really feels it. Not to mention, I've gone past that place so many times, next to Sam Schuster, right there in downtown Reedley. I know. And they've been there, they opened up during tough times and you would really hope that they'd be able to make it. So now if people at home are thinking, okay, let's go give them, you know, one last boost. We want to go buy and get some crepes, for example. When's the last day? Their last day he did announce was December 15th. So try to go before December 15th. Still have some time. All right, yeah. thanks so much, Sophia. Now check this out. According to figures released in September by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, egg prices, no surprise here if you've gone shopping, they're up a whopping 39% compared to last year. Flour up 23% and the cost of milk is up 17%.